Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show how we can automate the import of CSV files for motion design in Unreal Engine. In previous videos I showed how we can import data from a CSV text file into a data table in Unreal Engine and then use the results to update the text in motion design templates that we create for rundown playlists and such. And one of the most popular questions I got in response to those videos was how can we automate that input or that importing of the CSV data so that we can automatically get updates anytime our CSV data is overwritten by some external process. And that way we can automatically get our updated data into motion design rather than having to manually intervene by right clicking on our data table and then choosing re-import or re-import with new file. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. Now, the first thing I'm going to do here is make sure that the CSV file for this asset is actually located inside my content directory path so that it'll be easy for Unreal Engine editor to find anytime it gets updated. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my asset. You can see when I'm hovering over it that the source file, uh, which is listed at the very bottom of the pop-up, it's, it's in the saved folder. So it's saved slash list one dot CSV. So with a right click menu here, I can go ahead and open the source location. And this will give me the directory that that file is located in right here. So I can control C, copy that. And then I'll go back up to my project level and then into content, which is my essentially my game directory. And then I'll go into step-by-step -step and data tables. And in here, I'll control V and paste that CSV file. Okay, so now that CSV file is within the content structure of the project, wonderful. So next I'm going to go ahead and import that file onto this asset. So right click, re-import with new file. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm re-importing from that new file location. So step-by-step -step is my project content, step-by-step -step is the containing folder and data tables. And there's my list one.csv. I open that up and we don't see any changes because it's really the same data, it's just in a new file location. So I'll control S to save that table and that's all ready to go. Now I'm ready to configure the editor to automatically update anytime that CSV file is changed. So if I create an external process, maybe it's a Python script, maybe it's some other external software, and it's gonna write information to that CSV file that I wanna use in my motion design graphics, I want Unreal Engine to automatically update itself anytime that CSV file changes. So to set that up, I'm gonna to go to the edit menu and choose editor preferences. Inside editor preferences, I need to go to loading and saving. And finally, we're gonna configure this auto re-import section to import the data we want. Of course, we're gonna monitor the content directories that we're interested in. And under advanced, I want to specify which directories to monitor. Now the default information that's in here is not particularly useful for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And while I'm here, I'm also going to uncheck auto create assets because I don't want to accidentally create a new asset Anytime a new file it might be added, I also don't want to automatically delete any of my assets if the file disappears. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. And I also want to deactivate prompt before action because again, the whole point of this is to have no user intervention required anytime that the file gets updated. Finally, I am leaving detect changes on startup activated. So that way, if the file is changed while Unreal Engine is closed, it'll automatically be updated the first time, uh, the next time Unreal Engine's started up. I'll leave the import threshold time at three seconds, and this means that the file will get updated within three seconds of the file being saved and changed and detected as something new. All right, so the directory to monitor, well, I want to monitor this data tables directory. So I'm going to click on add and I'll expand this. I'm going to browse to that folder and that'll be step-by-step -step content and step-by-step -step data tables, select that folder. And next I want to identify that I want CSV files to be imported. So I'm going to click add here for the include exclude. I'll do star.csv and activate include for that. And so now anytime a CSV file in this folder is updated, then Unreal will automatically import that update. Well, let's make sure that works. So I'm gonna close my preferences. I'll right click on this asset. And this time I'm gonna choose open source data. In this case, I get to see my text file and I will just change this first line of text from hello one, or I'm sorry, from text one to be hello one. There we go. And we're not gonna see any update until I 
hit save, and then three seconds should pass and we should see the update. So control S, the save is done, two, one, we should get an update and there it is. Hello one is automatically updated without any further intervention. If I wanna test that here, I can go ahead to my sequencer and play my change sequence. It should fade out the existing text, change the text based on the tele uh, data and, and display it. So that's how we update our text automatically. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.